No captivity. Freezy. Freezy. What up? You are officially locked in once again to No Captivity with Freezy, where we tackle issues that sometimes have us trapped in this thing that we call life. But if you know me, you know my motto. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. Let me hear you say it. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. And if you rock with your boy Freezy, please hit the like and subscribe button hard right now and also comment and share this video that is if you rock with your boy freezy we have breaking news i just got it y'all kanye west just walked off a podcast after a prison allegation this one here for the thug. he said that they trying to put his ass in prison for tax evasion if it's a lie he told it so Kanye West just appeared on this podcast named Tim Cass IRL. Never heard of it, just seen it. And he had a brief conversation about, of course, the anti-Semitism, Adidas, Balenciaga. And he also revealed some new information involving him being contacted this morning saying that he was in possible violation of tax evasion. And if it wasn't taken care of, he could possibly go to prison. But don't take my word for it. We're going to go and look at some footage and we're going to come right back home, y'all. So this is Tim Cass IRL where Ye made an appearance discussing his latest news involving him, his family, Adidas, Balenciaga, you name it. But without further ado, let's get into the meat and potatoes up with that but when it comes to the race stuff i think this is an important discussion to have because what, what, i think I, I have to i have to complete this thought you guys got okay go ahead go ahead all right because i'm talking about literally finding out that they were trying to put me in prison this morning watch this so so yay just revealed they were trying to put him in prison this morning let's keep going morning yes so not you know not come to my house this morning but i found out okay so they froze they put a 75 million dollar hold on four of my accounts and then they said you owe a lot of tax it took me like six hours to find out how much a lot was they said <laughs> well around 50 million dollars now i'm going to different cfos like okay so would this be tax evasion now this sounds kind of fishy because let's just face it yay just was a billionaire but now he's still worth about 400 million something in the water ain't clean is is going to play the game look, look and, like, here, here's what i was trying to get yeah. to i i, I <laughs> you went right into the anti semite thing i think it's something that should be talked about but if you if you start bringing this up you're gonna ask my opinion on it i'm gonna disagree with you i didn't I, ask I, your opinion on it you know but, but so i don't know exactly who the white guy is maybe it's tim Cass. maybe it's not i don't know but obviously he wanted to go right into the anti-semitism and yay said i didn't ask your opinion this is an obvious move to steer the conversation into a rabbit hole of the debacle that yay has been experiencing these past few weeks but let's continue to it but I, but you, i don't care about your opinion i like your opinion on how we win an election but i don't care thing. about anybody's opinion bro i lost they tried to put me in jail they blocked two billion dollars i had like what i told farrakhan i said look this is what yay want to talk about he want to talk about they tried to put me in jail man but you want to keep talking about this old ass anti-semitism this shows that these people don't even care about you yay is telling you they trying to put him in prison but you want to go on about this old ass about anti-semitism and yay ain't even thinking about that right now yeah i i think i think they've been extremely unfair to you i think who was they though we can't tell you they is can we press i'm not using the I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way i guess you, you guys use i'm, I'm talking it is about them though isn't it i mean because <laughs> no and, and so obviously it's not rocket science on who they're talking about when they say them. Kanye West just showed a red chart not too long ago that revealed that most of the press and news networks are owned by the small hats, the Jewish people. It's not a military secret, but this guy for some reason doesn't want to just be real about it. <laughs> because when you think about it, consider it. In 2018. What do you mean it's not? It, what, what do I mean? Like, uh, uh, okay, so how about, are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? So as you can see, guys, Kanye West got fed up, got up from his seat, and walked the hell up out of there. No captivity. No cap. So let's see what this guy has to say after Ye took his exit. He's gone. You think Ye's going to come in here and say, here's my pain, here's my suffering. I'm going to say, I hear you. And then he's going to say, and it was Jewish people. And I'm going to be like, okay, but don't you consider it? So I'm not going to do this. I, I refuse. Go, uh, make sure he's cool. All right, go for it. Okay, so basically he's trying to defend himself. Ye had already said he don't want to talk about that. He came to 
talk about how they tried to put him in prison this morning. But y'all don't care about that. And on top of that, you can't even tell the truth that Jewish people basically run the news media. 2022 is officially the year of disingenuousness. Let's go back to the home screen. So as we can see, Ye was trying to be transparent about being contacted about his taxes, having a $75 million hold on his account because of back taxes of $50 million, which is very hard to believe. But even so, the man was trying to be forthcoming enough to share this information with you. But y'all know how it is. It's just another nigga going to jail. Who cares? Let's talk about what we want to talk about. But I want to conclude this show by saying, Ye, I wish you all the best and i pray that the most high deliver you from all of this and like always y'all know what to do if y'all have any stories or news that you want freezy to cover send it to freezy76 at gmail.com and remember to like share and subscribe to my channel no captivity with freezy no captivity and like i always say to free yourself you must heal yourself and until the next time we out of here No captivity. Freezy, freezy, freezy.